Welcome to Rappi HV's headquarters. Today, let's check out the electronics room where we build the brain and muscle of the motorcycle. And it's not just the electronics room. We'll be exploring the entire R&D facility, our team and the tech that we've developed. This is Rappi HV's tech tour. This is where the entire electrical architecture of the motorcycle gets built. But before we get into it, what exactly is the EV architecture and what does it do? Well, the EV architecture is basically all the electrical and electronic components working together to ensure efficiency and safety. Its three main functions include converting energy into wheel power, managing energy flow and integrating all the components. The battery stores energy, the motor powers the wheels and the various control units regulate speed and power distribution. The result? A ride that's smooth and seamless. Our first stop is the motor controller bench. The motor controller is the brain for the motor regulating its rotation and speed. This ensures smooth and efficient acceleration, providing an absolute ride experience. The motor controller is essentially an inverter that converts the DC inputs from the battery to AC for the motor to function. Next, we move on to the motor. The motor turns the electrical energy into power that sets the wheels in motion. At Rapti HV, we use PMSM motors which deliver more torque and run smoother. These motors pack more power in a smaller size, making them compact yet powerful. Since we use high voltage technology that operates about 200 volts, this combination offers top notch performance. Oh, and I've got to talk about our electronics team. These folks here have turned down bigger opportunities from large corporates to be a part of a place where innovation knows no end. Moving on to the power distribution unit. Electric two-wheelers in general have the PDU as a minor component. Since our electric architecture has a high voltage system, we have a dedicated power distribution unit. The PDU acts like a heart of the vehicle, directing the flow of electrical energy to other components. It ensures that each part gets the right amount of power to function optimally. Moving on to the battery management system. The BMS safeguards every individual cell in the battery, ensuring uniform charge levels. It manages the battery's performance prevents overheating and discharge, ensuring that the battery operates within safe limits and increases the battery life. Moving on to the onboard charger. The onboard charger is a conveniently integrated unit that eliminates the need to carry a bulky charger and makes it easier with a cable as a lighter alternative. It offers safe and efficient charging seamlessly fitted within the motorcycle. And thanks to a high voltage technology, now we can charge in the widespread car charging stations, ensuring that the bike is always ready for the road. Up next, we have the vehicle control unit. The VCU is the central hub that communicates with all electronic components of the bike, collects data and takes decisions, ensuring that everything works together in balance. It is connected to a cloud platform and includes features like network connectivity and GPS for navigation. Finally, the battery. The battery is like the reservoir of the motorcycle, storing all the electrical energy. Unlike a low voltage system, high voltage technology generates less heat and it makes the system more efficient and the performance more consistent. At Rapti HV, we build our battery packs in-house, ensuring they are optimized for performance and safety. This concludes the electronics room of the Rapti HV headquarters. Let's meet soon to explore more of our R&D. Stay tuned.